Hello guys, my name is Tu. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how do we extract a certain sub-assembly file out of the main assembly file. So we will be doing using a VB script. So the script is as such. It is a text file. So you can copy this uh, text file from the link that I will be sharing below. The next thing you do is just change the extension from TXT to VB. To demonstrate this script, I have a very huge assembly here, 618 megabytes of uh, data, 417 sub files, as such. So let's quickly open the main assembly files, NA, and such. Okay. And we'll be using the new option in NX12 to load uh, a huge uh, assembly. So, uh, this is the entire uh, assembly, and probably you would like to just extract a particular sub assembly. So, let's try to locate one of the sub assembly as such. Now, let's try to make this uh, the display part. So, in version 12, NX12, they have changed the, the command name to open in window. So, this command open in window is equivalent to the pre uh, to the command print display part in the previous version of NX. Click on this button to make display part and this is the sub assembly. The physical file uh, inside this sub assembly uh, is just a few. So let's do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 uh, physical files in this sub-assembly uh, there are uh, multiple files of there are three files of this name uh, therefore they are packed together so let's try to extract all this information into a different folder what we can do is we go to the tool tab and try to play a journal file locate and browse the journal file which is at desktop in this, uh, in this demonstration, click OK and we will click Run. So this dialog box will pop up uh, to uh, tell us to specify a folder to uh, put the extract files. So we can click to create a new folder. So put a name, test1 for this folder. So this will be the folder. And we will try to, and we will click OK and the extraction is in progress. So voila, the process is done and we now just need to try to verify the information here. We click and close everything. Now let's try to uh, show this file. So voila, all the informations are shown and are correct. So the correct assembly has been extracted. So that's it for this short video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.